Hi heathens! Today's video is going to be a video that I have not done before and I'm very excited because every time I see them I'm like man I want to do that and obviously you know what it is unless for some reason I'm on part of a an autoplay playlist in which case hi I'm Sunny I'm gonna put my hair up <laughs> um, this is a Beauty Bay mystery box so I have seen people do these and they even offer like specifically just Jeffree Star ones um, but they didn't have those and I wanted to see what comes in just theirs like is it just their branded stuff because I've seen a few videos and I don't think it is but anyway they had one for Black Friday this is one of my other Black Friday purchases um, <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna get anything for Black Friday this year but I couldn't help it so anyway it came in this which is gigantic um, I can tell that this box is oversized now for what purpose and to what extent I don't know but when I turn it there are definitely items moving around so I'm gonna cut it open and we're gonna see exactly what we're dealing with I think it's kind of funny I mean it's probably not funny to y'all but I've been looking at Beauty Bay for the last few years and have never made a purchase. Well, this year, within like, what, three months of each other, I've now made two. It's kind of weird. Again, that could just be me. Okay. Let's try to, I'm going to try to show you, but I don't know if there's another box in here or if everything is just loose. <laughs> so, we're going to see. Oh, goodness. I still have a piece of hair on my shoulder. Okay, it looks like, yes, there is another box inside the box. Why? I don't know. Make sure there's nothing. Okay. Making sure there's nothing under the paper. We're going to put that big box right back here out of the way. Okay. So, this is the actual Beauty Bay mystery box. It says it is plastic free. Does it say anything else? Open good stuff inside. So we'll see if there is in fact good stuff inside. So it says to open it like this. So I'm going to see if I can cooperate. The box fell behind me. And this is the sneak peek. Mostly, I do see Beauty Bay branded products, but I'm kind of excited about some of it um, because I, I, I know what at least two of the items are. So the first thing that I know what it is that I'm pretty excited about is the Buttercup Cleansing Balm. It's an oat lipid and chamomile for deeply cleansing and moisturizing skin. So I have mostly started using minus in my videos because y'all see me use makeup wipes all the time but mostly only using cleansing balms and like cleansing gels to take off my makeup in the evenings um it says it is a rich cleansing balm designed to melt away stubborn makeup and deeply cleanse the skin this nourishing formula leaves the skin feeling clean and comfortable i just want to see what the end oh it comes with a little little towel that's cute Okay, so we've just got a normal little tub. I love that. The more cleansing balms, the better, in my opinion. But that's just me. The next thing I know what it is was actually something that I considered purchasing when I was looking on their website because it is one of their sale items. Um, so this is not like a high ticket item at all. And this is the Disney Color, the Disney Color Collection Shadow Stick Trio. And it is the um, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, it has Cheshire Cat Fur from Alice in Wonderland, Dumbo Sky from Dumbo, and Mad Hatter Tongue from Alice in Wonderland. Those are, it seems to be the three shades that are in here. Um, but yeah, I considered getting some of these or like one of the little packs. I don't remember if this is the pack that I was actually looking at. 
I just saw something else in the box that I'm kind of excited for. That was actually another thing I was looking at. It's kind of weird. Like, did they log into my account and see my browsing history or something? Or did I just get really lucky? Okay, yes. Yeah, so those are the shades. So we're going to swatch them. So this is the Mad Hatter Tongue, I think. Oh, the shade names are not on the sticks anywhere. Is it on the very bottom? No, sorry, this is Cheshire Cat Fur. I know for a fact you will not be able to see that. I just want to show you how small the writing is. Ooh, that is very smooth. Okay, okay. Then we have Dumbo Sky. Very nice as well. And then Mad Hatter Tongue. Ooh, all of those went on very, very smooth. The Mad Hatter Tongue, I'm gonna see if you can tell, it does have the tiniest bit of shimmer, whereas the other two shades are matte. So that's cool. Next, we have a Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow Trio. It is, oh, it's the glitters. This is the Celestial Trio. I wonder if any of these are the one that I bought. Let me see. I'm going to cut open the bottom real quick, and then I'm going to move this box to see if I can easily access the one that I purchased because... I, no wonder my desk is so cluttered. I have my entire book of Halloween stamps and my primary book. Uh, these are like nail stamping things. I have no idea why they're on my desk. But that explains why my desk looks so cluttered because everything was sitting on top of those and it made it look like it was like deep piles <laughs> of stuff when it wasn't really. Uh, da -da -da -da. I do not see the actual, I found one of the boxes, where the actual component has gone is beyond me. Okay, we're going to get into this box anyway, because I know I got Malachite, which is the blue, and then another shade. I'm sure I'll remember if it was any of these. Ooh, I don't think it was that. Maybe that? No, I think the other one was peach something. I don't know what that one says. So we have Moonstone, which is like a gorgeous silver. We have... I genuinely can't read the bottom of this one. I know my glasses need a new prescription, but what does that say? Buell? Does it say on the back of this what the shades are? No. All right, if anyone knows what this shade is, let me know. <laughs> Um, maybe you can read it. I thought originally that it said bottle. I don't know. Bottle, bottle, something. And then we have Precious Topaz. This is the one I thought originally when I pulled it out of the packaging. I was like, oh, I think that's maybe the other one that I received from Beauty Bay. And by received, I mean went out of my way to purchase. But... I'm pretty sure the other one, I'm still trying to look and see if I can find it. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure the other one was peach. So, if I could stop throwing stuff on the ground, I might be able to give you a cohesive idea of what we have. Okay. Now, I know the one that I can't read the name of is not one that I received. So, we're going to swatch it on the back of my hand 
next to these shadow sticks. That's really, really pretty. And if you know me, you know that while I love, love, love my blues, purples, and greens, I'm a sucker for good neutrals because they're so much more versatile. Let me pick up the stuff that just fell behind my butt. Okay, that should be the only thing. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> I'm excited about that little trio. Then we have a Beauty Bay Matte Lipstick Quad. Does it have a... Nope. So we will find out what the quad is here in a moment. Like what colors it is. I need to balance this box a little better. Okay, that works. Now, go back to the knife so that we can get into this. So, ooh, those look like exciting shades. We have Sauce, Scrunchy, Juice, and Jam. Let's pull them out. Okay, so they're like tubes. For some reason, I was expecting them to be liquid lipsticks. But they're not. Um, I'm gonna open Juice, which is like the orange shade. Um, just says lipstick around the outer packaging. Ooh. Mmm. <sighs> that smells like buttercream. Okay, that's a gorgeous red actually. The bottom. Ooh, twisted it the wrong way. Makes it look like it's gonna be a lot more orange than red, but it's gorgeous. Let me take off some of that balm. And it does say they're supposed to be matte. I'll have to let it dry down some before fully determining if I think that it's a matte liquid lip um, because I find that tube lipsticks don't dry down quite the same as a liquid lip which is why I prefer those. But I do love me a nice strong red and this fits the bill. So that's exciting and they smell incredible. So we have, is this a brush maybe? We have a, yep, a BB-102, a foundation stippling brush. I really think they looked at my history. <laughs> we have a nice long um, handle. Oh, that's interesting. It's very, very thin. Like, there's not a whole lot of bristle. Ooh. It's soft. I'm gonna have to try this with foundation one day because it's a lot, like, softer than the brushes I would normally reach for for foundation. So, like, this is one that I've used for foundation. And it has little hairs all over it. I don't know if you can tell, despite the height difference, this one is just much more densely packed than this one. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. I'm going to, I'm going to put that to the side and we're going to put that to the test one day. Next, which is the item that I saw that I was like, Hey, I was actually looking at that too. This goes along with the first item. This is the Disney color Alice in Wonderland 1951 six color palette. Uh, I think one of the other things in here is another palette, so I'm not going to put this on my face quite yet. If I can even get into it. There we go. So 
So we have Cheshire Cat Stripe, Cheshire Cat Fur, Cheshire Cat Face, Cheshire Cat Eyes, Cheshire Cat Teeth, and Cheshire Cat Tree. So the fur color, which is that middle color, is supposed to correspond, I guess, with the um, stick, which is the purple one and then the middle one. So I guess it does pretty well. Um, and then face and stripe. And then we've got teeth, tree, and eyes. I'm going to swatch some. They're all mattes. Let's swatch eyes. Uh, what was it? Face and stripe. Uh, ooh. Okay. The pigment is there. Even on that, like, yellowy gray one. I mean, yellowy green. You can definitely see it. I was afraid that shade might be a little sheer. Then we have a crayon eyeliner in the shade Deep. Crayon eyeliner, and then the shade name is right there above the barcode. Below the barcode. <laughs> this doesn't tell me at all what shade it might be because this whole thing is just a white pen with um, silver lettering on it. So we're gonna. Ooh! It's black, but it's got a little bit of sparkle. So it kind of looks like a night sky. That's neat. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick up on the sparkle so much uh, through the camera. If it'll even focus on the black at all. Hello? Maybe if I cover my face. <laughs> Why are you not focusing on the colors? Okay, well, just take my word for it. It's got some shimmer in it. Then we have our last item. Yes. This is a palette. It is the New Mood 20 Color Palette. It says, what are you in the mood for? With 20 matte shimmer and glitter shades, the New Mood Palette is here to help you create an infinite number of multi-dimensional looks that will always match your mood. Each shade has been made using by Beauty Bay's signature formula with intense pigment payoff and major staying power. Blend the colors over prime skin and feel the serotonin. I need some serotonin in my life. So let's see if it gives me serotonin. Boop. So just like the larger palettes that I purchased, it does come in bubble wrap inside of the actual component box. This is what it looks like. Back is very plain. There's nothing on there. Let's see. Ooh! Okay. For some reason I was expecting like a full rainbow palette. Um, but especially that shade, Euphoric, uh, looks incredible. <laughs> uh, let me give you a little close up. Ooh, from this angle it looks red. I just, that's pretty. Okay. Okay. Overall, I'm very pleased with this box. I wonder if all of them are the same or if, like I said, I got kind of lucky with it being a lot of stuff that I had looked at or if it was stuff that I had looked at simply because I had viewed a lot of their sale items. I don't know. We may never know. Um... I don't know what to touch because I really, really want to use the shade Euphoric, but I think I'm just going to swatch it. I'm going to go in with Focused down here, which is like a periwinkle type shade. And I'm going to use that as my, I should probably peel the mirror, huh? My transition and crease shade. Uh, 
it's lovely. See, there I go, saying it again. I really wish I knew where I picked that up from because I have no idea. Wow, that was pretty easy. I don't think I picked up quite as much for that eye. Don't mind that. That's really, really pretty. I feel like on camera it's picking up a little more blue than it is in person. Let's go in with content, which is a little more blue. Same brush. really nice. I'm really sad that it took me this long to try Beauty Bay eyeshadows, like the last Beauty Bay video I did, but I am glad that I finally gave in and did try it because it has been nothing short of impressive and to be such an affordable brand because even those large palettes I got that are what 42 shades or something crazy like that um full price they only retail for 25 I got them half off at 1250 I can't tell you what this palette retails for right off because it was part of a mystery box but I imagine it wouldn't be too expensive. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the shade Inspired. I'm sure everyone saw that coming. For my lid. Super soft. It's like a blue-purple. <gasps> Ooh. Very much, yes. Ah. Ah. The little cat here, I just like sniffed up my nose. It's not pleasant. That is really, really pretty. Are you gonna focus? Hello? No? Oh, boy. Whatever, you can see it. I don't know why this is giving me a hard time today. Now I wanna use Gracious for my inner corner, which is the Goldie Champagne up here in the corner. I'm just gonna take it on my pinky. Yep, 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 yep. That's exactly what I wanted. That's gorgeous too. Then, because of the whole color scheme we got going on here, I want to take the, I'm trying to reach in the box to find it, um, Cheshire Cat Fur Stick. <gasps> um, Okay, can I put that back in there? I don't really know what's happening. Um, I don't, I don't know what just happened. I'm gonna try to hold it in so I can put it under my eye, but uh, if it pops out, it wasn't me. I noticed when I pulled the cap off, when I first pulled it out of the box, that I saw this shadow in the cap. And I was like, 
I was hoping maybe just a little piece had broken off, like the very tip of it. But nope, the whole thing just decided to come out. I don't know what that's about. So going down, it's fine. Going up, it pops right out. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Looks good under the eyes, though. I still don't think you're focusing right. Oh, hello. Whatever. Anyway, despite my apparent focusing issues, that is my Beauty Bay mystery box. Uh, other than the fact that right at the end the stick completely popped out, I'm really pleased. Um, I didn't swatch that shade I said I was going to swatch, did I? Let's go ahead and do that. So this is the shade Euphoric. Oh, God, this is stunning. That is one of the prettiest shades I may have ever seen. If it doesn't focus on this, I'm going to be really upset. Because... I don't think it's going to catch the shift. But that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to kiss my hand to see if the lipstick is matte. You see my glasses starting to fog up? We definitely have some transfer. But not terrible. So I feel like this could last a bit throughout the day, more so than a normal tube lipstick. But it's not going to last as long as my liquid lipsticks. But I still like my it feels really nice. It's not drying out my lips at all. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. I really hope that those other sticks don't just spontaneously pop out like the first one did. That's so upsetting. But anyway, that's my box. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. If y'all know if all the other ones are like this, let me know. Because next time they do this, I might want to get two if I know that they're completely different, because this is really good. <laughs> so I'd love to know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.